Um, hi everyone, this is Dr. Sula Chana Garong, your dentist, and I'm here live with another episode of Tooth Talk Thursday. Uh, so yeah, um, sorry I missed uh, an episode last week. I was gone for a uh, um, a CE course in Seattle and had such an amazing time learning from the experts in dentistry, uh, you know, learning about the scientific researches and all the advances in dental, um, dental fields. So it was an amazing and life-changing experience for me. So uh, again, talking a little bit about our practice, we are a brand new dental office here in the heart of Queens, New York, and uh, we are are um you know finishing up with our construction so we passed our inspection uh plumbing inspection last week and i know there are a few more coming up soon so yes um a lot of things exciting things happening um yet to pick my color i mean the wall colors a lot of you know i mean a lot of work is going on in the background and we recently launched our brand too so you must have noticed or seen all the images in the profile so that's something you know i don't want you guys to miss and you can go back and check and yes uh so uh right so again today's uh topic is how do i fix gaps in my teeth so i know um as you all know the spaces in between the teeth are it's not common, but we see that in a lot of patients or in our everyday life. So uh, space in between the teeth are called diastemas, or it may be caused by and can be caused caused by various factors. So when the tooth size and the jaw size they do not align together, that's called tooth and jaw size discrepancies. Um, in such situations, you may see those gaps and spacings in between the teeth and Again, sometimes the missing permanent teeth, or uh, you know, when a baby tooth is missing, uh, on the when the stuff like succedaneous that means the permanent tooth underneath the baby tooth are missing, is missing. That's when there is a gap uh, created as well. Uh, sometimes there's called supernumerary teeth. That's like an additional tooth. Um, you know, that's growing in between the jaw in the jaw in between those two teeth or you know uh, in between the roots of the teeth it tends to create the gap in between the teeth as well and that's visible in the mouth as a gap or um, diastemas um, sometimes what happens is there's like the retained baby tooth uh, they're smaller in size uh, especially those front ones or the back one like in the premolars ones so they they tend to like retain there that means their their roots are still there because the baby tooth is missing so what happens is this tend to shrink the jaw um shrink the those uh uh shrink the push the teeth backward or towards the space creating space in the front as well so that's another cause of um gap uh sometimes uh there's like a uh, there are situations when teeth uh, may progressively move apart, rift apart, uh, in cases of any kind of pathology in between, in, inside the bone or jawbone. So it is called a pathological tooth migration. And it is uh, to be considered very seriously because it has to be, if you notice any kind of like a rapid movement in between your teeth or, you know, you see those gaps opening up. Uh, very fast. Uh, it's a very concerning situation. That means there's some there's something going on inside the the, the jawbone. Uh, it can be cysts, tumors, or any kind of mass developing uh, can cause that. So it's called pathological tooth migration, and it's very uh, important to you know get it evaluated by your dental uh, dentist. Uh, there are situations when there is a, a heart disharmony between the uh, your bite, occlusion, and the periodontal condition of your teeth too. So in those situations as well, you tend to notice, uh, you know, spacing gradually developing in between the teeth and the, in between those teeth, creating those gaps. So, uh, you know, it can be an active sign of periodontitis or any other condition uh, caused by, um, you know, your, your um, this like, discrepancy in the bite so that's to be considered to be evaluated by the dentist or um, or the primary care as, as well 
So um, there is one situation, like one condition uh, when it, it's normal to have gaps in between the front teeth. You notice that in um, kids of ages between uh, 11 to 13. So it is called early duckling uh, stage. Uh, it happens when, you know, the teeth are in their developmental period and uh, the roots are still forming, the, you know, the different type of teeth are like trying to erupt. So especially it closes. Uh, so th this is a self-correcting uh, phase and it will resolve on its own as the permanent teeth, uh, especially those like the canines, the top canines erupt. So yeah, so it's self-correcting. So do not need, like you don't need to worry about those spacings in, in um, your, you know, um, your uh, teenage kids. Uh, or let's call it like 11 to 13, 10 to 13 years of age. Um, uh, it's normal to see spacings in between baby teeth. Uh, that is to account for the developing um, permanent teeth to well, that will eventually move into that space and close the space. It's absolutely normal. So uh, let's talk a little bit about the treatment. Uh, so there are a variety of options available, again, uh, for... Again, if it is, uh, you know, if it is, there's not, not if nothing is, uh, if you don't have anything concerning, uh, like no pathology underneath, so that's that's absolutely fine. If you, you know, if you are sometimes like uh, diastema is a sign, uh, it's uh, it's considered like beautiful in some of the cultures, so they tend to keep that as is. Um, if we like uh, any kind of cosmetic or uh, like, you know, uh, in treatment perspective, like, you know, in treatment, you can always consult a dentist. Um, and yeah, that's why I'm like, I'm opening a pack as well, all that. So yes, um, you can close it by using simple bonding. Um, it can be uh, as simple as just like a layer of composite between the teeth. So in order to do that, you have to go through a little bit of what is called smile designing. And I love to do that on all of my patients uh, as I do my cosmetic cons consultation. Um, so uh, 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 that's called a direct, it's like a little direct composite filling material. So that's possible. The other one is veneers. So veneers can be direct, indirect. Uh, it can be, you know, done directly on your teeth. It just covers the entire facial surface or the surface of your teeth just to close that gap. The other one would be a veneer that's made in the lab. So that is something to be considered to, and they're made out of porcelain or uh, resin material. So they look, uh, they have nice gloss and shiny, but again, like in order for me to like tell you guys what you'd be needing, it's a good idea to get a consultation uh, before you proceed. Uh, in instances uh, when, you know, um, you need a, a big closure uh, or if you have a heavy filling materials in your teeth, Crowns can be recommended. Uh, it can be porcelain, so that's uh, you know that's considered like a higher, uh, higher aesthetic, uh, has a higher um, a glaze, so it gives you a nice polished look. Uh, sometimes in instances when you have missing teeth, uh, we're talking about missing teeth, like congenitally missing teeth. When some like the laterals are missing, the premolars are missing. Um, those are common teeth that you know people tend to miss. Uh, so in such situations, you can get the replacement by implants or bridges. Um, and again, I can discuss implants in my later videos. So, um, you know, implant uh, and you can put a clown on top. So that kind of replaces the teeth as well and closes that those wider gaps. And sometimes bridge uh, can be recommended too. So yeah, uh, so that's another option as well. So again, um, if you guys have any question, I am uh, here and I can answer that for you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yes. Um, so yeah, hi, hi Maggie, hi Chitra. So yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching me today. And again, um, uh, I cannot like wait to meet you all in person when the practice opens and hopefully we should start uh, a booking appointments in a week or two and I'll update you. Stay tuned for that. Oh, and the other thing is I'm sure like you all must have, um, you know, watched my video from last uh, couple, uh, a week or two ago. Uh, so we went where we launched our small project, project small competition. So again, if you have any, any, dental uh, procedure or any kind of uh, treatment that needs to be done. It is all 
cover it and um, you know uh, at no charge I would love to um, grant that one person the smile they have always dreamt of so stay um, uh, so stay tuned to hear more and do not forget to apply and um, it should be in my video at the uh, below where you can um, uh, you can send an email, send a picture of your smile uh, with a little bit of a background why you would want me to, uh, you know, you deserve uh, you deserve the, the smile uh, that you always wanted. So yes, uh, don't forget to um, yeah email us so you can be you know you can be and you can be that winner. So um, yeah, so thank you guys, and I'll see you guys soon with more updates. Take care and bye bye.